Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about considering subscribing to my channel? <laughs> So today we're here to talk about the final eight episodes of season five of Fuller House. And I do want to let you guys know that I do not have the first four seasons um, on my channel. I actually only review season five part one just because I really, really loved how that season went. So I was like, you know what? I got to talk about it. So of course I had to come back and finish off the season. I'll go ahead and link the first part down below in case you haven't uh, checked it out. But just in case you're wondering where seasons one through four are, if you wanted to know my input they're non-existing videos so let's go ahead and get on with this recap um do want to pre-warn you this one is going to be a spoiler review if you have not seen the final part of fuller house you may want to go check those out you're going to get through them so quickly you guys it's only eight episodes they're only half an hour long or not even that long once you do just head back over here and let's chat about it so episode 10 we of course start off with the wedding planning and honestly that's all we ever get throughout the final eight episodes as far as wedding planning goes uh we only get the one episode uh, we do have them discussing wedding plans or bringing out a wedding book and we do get one episode when the guys go for a tuxedo fitting i honestly thought the final episodes were going to be about the wedding and getting everything together obviously we're gonna have a couple shenanigans here and there and a couple mishaps and whatnot but no we we did it we just kind of went all over we had a holiday which actually was kind of funny because we did thanksgiving so apparently they got married somewhere after Thanksgiving but before Christmas because we didn't have a Christmas episode. Since they did do the Thanksgiving episode, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I kind of wish they had waited to release this till November to kind of coincide with the holiday. I know some people were very anxious and wanting to get to it with the people that actually enjoy this this series because i know it's not everybody's cup of tea i gotta say thank you netflix for giving us a series finale because you know you could have just canceled it i do know that this series had been threatened a lot to get canceled so i'm very very happy that we did get a finale so since i am with the thanksgiving episode uh, we do get a little fun little flashback well not necessarily flashback but like a a reenactment of something that happened in Full House, which is when Stephanie uh, drove Rosita into the kitchen. Did anybody else, after they saw these episodes, anybody go back on YouTube or stay here on YouTube and look up for the original? Did anybody else go do, and do that? No, just just me? I, I, there has to have been some of y'all who went, don't, don't lie. From the beginning, when they said triple wedding, I went disaster. So I really kind of wish we had gone a little bit more on the disaster of the different opinions. We only got that in the first episode. And of course, just like a full house or fuller house episode, we have it resolved by the end of the episode. Okay, I, I get it. But I kind of wish that we maybe got, I mean, it's a wedding. It's three women trying to plan a wedding why i mean i i, I don't know because like i said in my first review i'll be damned if i'm gonna be sharing my day with anybody okay like i don't care what y'all say about me but shh, you're pushing it with me sharing it with one another person <laughs> but three <laughs> no 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 i don't know if you've caught on by now but i didn't really like the final eight episodes. I love the first nine episodes. It had all the emotions with it. And I was expecting to have all the emotions with the finale. Like, okay, we've gone five seasons, you know. You guys, I didn't even cry. Not 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 a single tear. I didn't even get emotional, you guys. Can you believe that? Me not crying. If you guys are new, just know I am a very emotional person when it comes to movies and shows i cry for everything but i did not cry for this please do not dislike this video for this like let me know down below what you guys thought about it like i asked my sister and she said that she actually did enjoy it she cried okay, let's go ahead and move on to the final two episodes whatever episode it was when kimmy and stephanie said that they were going to be moving out of the house everybody has their own families right they're all now married it's time for them to move out of this house yes it's sad they're going to be separating right but do we really want them all to 
still be in this house i mean this house is gonna be really really, really crowded i mean for crying out loud does fernando still have the gibbler house because i think he had bought it right didn't he like can we at least move next door you know i mean i don't know there's just too many families too many people in one household and honestly when ramona was telling jackson and max that you know they were moving and everything yes that was a very sentimental like goodbye like you know because you're like my sister and everything and then we got a joke from max right about just you owe me seven dollars was it seven dollars i think that's what it was i honestly kept waiting for jackson to be yes i get to have my my room back you know because that was his room originally before they moved in and he had to move in with with um uh, with max but no that joke never happened instead they decided to go with this seven dollar joke this you owe me money joke which i just wasn't here for but i just feel like that's something that honestly jackson would have said do you guys agree like were y'all expecting for that to happen for that to be said i don't know it might have just be me but i feel like that's a very jackson thing i feel like that money joke fell very short in my opinion and they could have utilized it with the whole room situation and that would have been so much better did ramona ask max for seven dollars in previous episodes that i don't recall yeah let me know down below let's go ahead and talk about the whole um at becky situation how they handled that what did they do to her well they didn't kill her off they said that she was with her mom indiana i don't know you guys some other state of course danny joey and uncle jesse all made their appearances they did come out quite a bit with those three guys let's go ahead and move on to the final episode the wedding all right so joey got to walk kimmy down the aisle because we never get to meet kimmy's parents they were supposed to make an appearance but of course they're just like traveling the world and they don't got time for their children or to come to their kids wedding mind you both kids were getting married same day and they just didn't bother to to make it so joey did offer to walk kimmy down the aisle so we got the this is probably why i didn't cry you guys because i was just kind of really mad about this i don't know if you guys thought about this if it even crossed your minds but why did danny walk dj down the aisle i just cannot comprehend this i mean you guys can be like well that's the oldest daughter Yes, okay, it is the oldest daughter, but DJ has already been married before. Danny, pretty sure, walked her down the aisle. I feel like Danny should have definitely walked Stephanie down the aisle and Uncle Jesse should have walked DJ. I feel like that should have been the right thing. Like, why, as considerate as the family is, as considerate as DJ especially is, why was that not discussed? Like, again, this goes to my whole wedding planning deal. And I feel like this is definitely when DJ should have been like, well, dad already walked me down the aisle when I married Tommy. So I feel like it's only fair for him to walk you, Stephanie, down the aisle. I'm just saying. Let me know down below. Do you guys think it's fair? The whole time, you guys, I was just like, I just cannot believe Danny did not walk Stephanie down the aisle. That really irked me, as you can probably tell because i'm really like in my feelings about that dj finally locks this damn door i guess because there's not that many people in the house she now feels unsafe i don't think we've ever seen anybody lock that damn door i don't i don't recall they like move out and then dj's just kind of like standing in the middle of the living room all sat in her feelings and then you hear goes unlocks the damn door and it's just like we don't want to leave can we stay of course oh my gosh she said we could stay and everybody comes in oh my god i can tell you this if i pack my shit up i'm i'm moving so basically you're telling me you packed up for nothing you are wasting where well, you wasted all this money on the movers the truck that you're gonna have them take your stuff to whatever house apartment you're renting or buying or whatever so what's gonna happen with that now i would have preferred for them to have just gone their separate ways i mean i know that's like a sad ending but you know maybe not necessarily with her just standing in the middle of the living room but you know maybe have gone to the kitchen or gone up to the boys room and been like you know we're gonna be okay you know we're starting our family we're good oh starting our family stephanie ends up being pregnant by the end of the episode i mean i know throughout the series we knew that she was having fertility issues which in turn is why kimmy ended up being the oven overall i was pretty disappointed in the finale um i loved loved part one of season five which is again like i said earlier the whole reason why i made a review for it and this really really 
disappointed me. Even though I did not like the way that it ended, I do like the overall season one to five. Okay, I, I'm content with it. I mean, what was there to be? You know, regardless, it's, it's done with, right? You can't go anywhere else with it. You know, I still recommend for you guys to see Fuller House if you have not seen it yet. It's not for everybody. It's very PG, it's very 90s, it's very cheesy. I loved it. Everything gets resolved within the episode. But I do like that we got to see what happened to the girls and how, you know, their lives went on and, you know, the family that they ended up going. Um, I'm not too worried about these kids because, honestly, I'm not as attached to the kids from Fuller House. I'm okay with not knowing what becomes of them. These are my thoughts of part two of season five. What did you guys think about it? Let me know down below. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was the series just not for you? That's okay. Of course, before you guys click out this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.